Hey guys, my name is Moran Pober. I'm an entrepreneur investor and I help people buy existing established businesses and raise capital to do so. And I've been involved in different businesses over the last 10 years. Uh, my best investment out there was an app company that I bought and became the top 100 app in more than 100 stores. And since I've been involved in many different businesses, helped many other people as well. And I show them how to do that, even if they don't have millions of dollars in their bank account or even if they never ran a business before, because I show them how to leverage other people's money, other people's time, other people's expertise, and you can do the same, and that's what those videos are all about. And before we get into today's topic, as a side project, I also have a mentorship program where I work with people literally one-on-one, -on -one and I show you how to buy businesses using other people's money and raising capital to do so, and I basically sold deals in any industry you can think of over the last few months, a year or so, um, hundreds of deals that I saw so I can help you in any industry that you like. And if you want to learn more about that and see if you qualify, then we can filter you because there's only so many few people, people I can help with. It's my side project and I really like to help people. And that's kind of like a way for you to get into my inner circle as well if you really want to take things to the next level because then we can do potentially deals even in five years from now uh, if we find something that's a win-win for both of us. But either way, it's me helping you and if you want to see we're going to put links somewhere in the description below to see if you can uh, see more details and yeah just check it out anyway so let's go to today's video so today i want to talk about on why literally someone will give you his free give you his million dollar business for you for free and we're going to get into the details people don't understand they're telling about they're telling me hey man you know what it's really cool the fact that you can go out there and buy an existing profitable business, right? It sounds like an amazing idea. And I love the fact that you can use OPM, other people's money to do it and leverage the business assets to buy that business or leverage their cash flow and whatever, right? Use other people's money to buy it. It sounds, all sounds really amazing. But why the fuck would someone sell me his business if it's a good business, right? That's the first question that, one of the first questions that comes up to people, people's money is, if he's running a good business, why on earth would he sell that business to me? I mean, he can continue to run that business for the rest of his life and take a lot of money out of it. So why would he sell it to me? And today I want to expand on that. It's a really, really great question, which I, I can definitely relate to when I so started in this space. And I, 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 I thought as well, like maybe someone will sell me his business, but it's probably a shitty business. It's probably a business um, that owning a lot of money to people and it's on the literally a few moments from shutting down and liquidated. So I don't believe in buying an existing profitable good businesses, right? And today I want to share with you some of the, those thoughts that I have on this space and why you can actually buy amazing businesses and literally get them almost for free. And I want to share with you some of the, the thoughts behind that so you understand and it will open your eyes to what's possible. So in my mentorship program, we're going to four different type of sellers or business owners that we want to target because if we don't understand who is the exact type of person that will sell me his good business for a, a fair price because we like to pay accounting valuation and not crazy uh, premium prices for businesses because there's just too many opportunities so we need to first of all understand who are those people who will do that and then when we know who are those people we then only when we know that, we can then know how to target them and how to quickly filter through the process of finding out if they're a good fit to sell me their business for a fair price. And yes, I agree. Some business owners won't sell me their business because it's an amazing business, um, especially it's more challenging in the tech space because tech businesses grow really, really fast. And it, it's maybe a little bit more difficult to buy a tech business at a fair accounting valuation versus buying a traditional boring business like an engineering business, distribution business, um, maybe marketing agency or things that is more, more traditional, those will be much easier to buy. Uh, but anyway, let's, let's get back to focus. We want to focus on who are those type of people who will sell me their business and their good business. And the first type that I want to talk about in this video is the retired business owner. And that's what I want to expand a little bit more in this video and explain to you the fact that there are many people as out people out there are looking to retire, especially nowadays with all the baby boomers generations. Um, many of those baby boomers own businesses and they are looking to retire. 
and they need to do something with those businesses. So they have two options. They have, they have a few options. One of them is, let's bring the business to, to my kids. Um, yes, some of them do that. But nowadays, especially if it's a boring business, let's say it's an engineering business doing $7 million a year in sales and revenues, doing a nice profit every year, and that business owner, that baby boomer, is running that business for like 25 years. His kid, again, there are, there's a chance that his kid really liked the idea of owning an engineering business. But there's also a big chance that he don't give a freaking care about that industry. So he want to do his own thing and he's just telling his dad, you know what, dad, I don't want to be involved in that. You do whatever you want with that business. And trust me, that happens a lot. And, and, and if something kids love to do is to go, to go against their parents. That's the first thing. What else they can do with that business? The second thing they can do is they can try and sell their business, right? You tell me, hey, you know what? Yeah, they can sell the business, but they can, so there's just few also options here. They can sell their business to their competitor, right? That would be maybe the best next option because their competitor know more about the sector and he will really take care of the business. And that's the, the wrong thing to think about because the problem with selling businesses to competitors is the fact that competitors most likely going to buy those businesses and fire like 50% of the employees, change the name of their business and destroy whatever that baby boomer built over 25 years, which for him, it's like a baby, right? It's like his baby, the, the business. Everything that he built is like his baby. So the last thing you want to do is find someone who will fire all of those employees who are literally like his family now. They helped him grow that business over the last 20 years. The last thing you want to do is find someone who will buy that business, fire everyone and change their name on the door. And then what else can he do? Same with liquidating. Maybe he can just sell all, all of his assets, take some cash back home and go home with his, his life and retire, right? But then again, think about the employees, the customers. Those are literally like his family now. He need to take care of them. He won't leave them alone. He won't fire uh, Nancy who's worked with him for the last 25 years. He want to make sure they have someone who can basically take care of those people ideally as close as he did and that's where you come into place you can be that person who will be the safe pair of hand who will be the trusted guy who is excited about running a business because you understand that hey it's not about the sector it's more about what the business can bring me in terms of lifestyle in terms of income and trust me some of those boring businesses are the best businesses you can have because they're so stable. I mean, yeah, maybe they're not growing like 2,500% a year, like, I don't know, like Uber, right? Because they're not a technology company and they raise like $100 billion of uh, VC money or IPOs. So maybe they grow 5, 10% a year, but this is a stable growth. It's not the business, that, that business that's already exists for like 25 years from John, who's just looking to retire. It's not going to fail. The chances of that business failing is really small. So you can look at that, hey, I'm going to buy myself a business who most likely can run without me involved in the day-to-day. -day. It's going to bring me a great income, a great lifestyle, and I'll take care of the employees. I don't care. I don't care about the name on the door, the name of the business, like uh, Jones Engineering Company. I don't care about putting my name, change it to, I don't know, David Engineering Company. I don't give a shit about it. And if you're okay with that, then you can be one of those amazing candidates to buy those businesses. So I hope that makes sense because they need someone they can trust. They're not going to fire all the employees. They care about the brand that they built because they've been involved in that business for 20, 25 years sometimes. And they're looking to retire. They want to go back home. They don't want to work hard anymore. They don't want to... And sometimes they're not even working hard. It's more about their responsibility. Like some of those people, they already have management team in place running those businesses for him. But it's more about the responsibility that they need to have in their head because they still need to be there at least emotionally. Even if it's just having like weekly calls with their managers and checking KPIs, key performance indicators, and making sure that the business is running smoothly. Um, so I really, really hope that makes sense. And if someone is retiring, that's just like one type of a seller that you want to, um, I guess, attract when you're looking to buy a business. And trust me when I say those deals happen all the time. And again, forget about me. I've been in business for many years. Look at some of my clients like Benjamin, he just closed a tech deal, which is actually is not, it's not easy, but he closed tech deals and he's going to take it internationally. So it's definitely doable um, and you can definitely do that. So if you want to learn more about my mentorship program, it's access to me, my network, my knowledge, obviously, 
and potentially uh, partnering with you as well and giving you access to my team and, and I guess track record to help you put yourself out there. And if something like that can help you and you want to see if you're qualified and we can filter you because we only work with few people. There's only so much time I have and this is just like my side thing. Um, so if you want to check it out, definitely check somewhere in the uh, b below this video. And yeah, that's it for today, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Let me know if you have ideas for more videos or just in general, if you like, hate this video or, or anything else. I'd love to, to get your feedback. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.